In this video, we are going to show you how to use the NEO ECU-12. The NEO ECU-12 is a low-cost embedded ECU to help you try out new algorithms early in the design process, simulate a real ECU, create custom test instruments, and convert CAN or LIN signals to an analog input. The NEO ECU-12 features two CAN or CAN-FD channels, one LIN channel, six 3.3 volts digital input or output channels, one 5 volts digital input or output channel, four 5 volts analog input channels, five programmable tri-colored LEDs, four programmable internal buttons, and five PWM outputs. The NEO ECU-12 is enclosed in a lightweight plastic case. This device has been designed and tested for in-vehicle use. The pinout for the DB25 male connector is on the back side of the case. On the top side of the case contains the DB25 male connector, and on the bottom side of the case contains the serial number and tri-colored LEDs. To access push-button switches, insert a small screwdriver into the slot near the side and twist. Do this for both sides and you will see the case is hinged in the back. To configure your device, you will need to connect to HSCAN1 channel of the NEO ECU-12 to your NeoVi or ValueCAN device. Instead of making your own cable, for this video we are going to be using the NEO ECU-12 programmer board. The Intrepid programmer board gives you easy access to the pinouts using GPIO headers and a DB9 connection to attach your ValueCAN 4-2. Using the Vehicle Spy function block scripting, you can enable users to easily set up automated tasks, simulate nodes, and ECUs without relying on a complicated text-based computer language. Neo ECU-12 can also act as a bus adapter to transfer messages from incompatible buses. Using Vehicle Spy Gateway Builder allows you to simply drag and drop one vehicle network to another network. To load your custom script to your NEO ECU-12, go to the Tools menu and select Core Mini Console, then click the NEO ECU tab. Click on the Pull for NEO ECUs button to display NEO ECU-12 device, and then press Send. In addition, you can use this view to update your device firmware or access your hardware settings by pressing the Hardware Setup button. To learn more about NEO ECU-12 and to read our full documentation, please visit intrepidcs.com slash ECU-12.